Hi, I'm Dr. Dowd. Do you want to correct your posture so women find you more attractive? It's not a good way to, it's not a good way to start the video. Hey, it's Shane from GuyRom.com. In today's video, we're gonna talk about posture correctors, those devices that you wear, and if they're really worth it. All you need to do, the ads proclaim, is wear a $39.95 shoulder strapping device called the Posture Now, or is it the Posture Wow? All these posture saving devices that have flooded the market these days are intended to combat what is a real problem, which is the slumped posture, the nerd neck, text neck, all of these postural issues that are plaguing our society. But are they really the answer? These posture correctors are supposed to tackle the epidemic of slumped posture brought on by days hunched over cell phones, tablets, computers, laptops. Beyond just posture correctors, there's posture corrector bras, braces, shirts, and even digital sensors. The purpose of all of these is to get us to do one thing, straighten up. But do they really work? Prolonged periods of screen time where your head is forward of your body wreaks havoc on your neck, traps, and shoulders. Not only that, but there's also links between posture and mental health. If you have depression or anxiety, you'll tend to hunch or curl inward. On the other hand, simply sitting up a little bit straighter can actually make you feel better emotionally. So having better posture is a great goal, but unfortunately most posture correctors don't actually help you achieve that goal. In fact, some of these devices can do more harm than good. That's because your body begins to rely on the devices to hold you up, especially if you wear them for long periods of time. It's kind of like if you notice that your legs hurt when you have to stand under your own power, and so you get a pair of crutches, and you lean on the crutches, and you're like, ah, this feels easier to stand. I'm going to do this all the time. What's going to happen to your legs? They're going to get weaker and atrophy and eventually be practically useless. Well, it's the same thing with the posture correctors. If you have something that straps your shoulders and pulls them back like that, then your muscles back there don't have to learn how to do that. And it's just basically putting a long, slow, passive stretch on your shoulders, which is not terrible, but it's not a complete solution either. A Scandinavian research review in 2019 looked at six studies claiming to show that wearable shirt type posture correctors in fact worked. The review found that most studies about posture correctors were poorly designed and there were some ulterior motives, meaning who was funding the study. Well, it turns out that often device manufacturers were potentially funding these studies, thus biasing them. The authors of this review concluded that there was no viable evidence that posture correctors work. There are other devices where you put an electric sensor on your back and anytime you start to slouch, it gives you a little buzz whoop, to remind you to straighten back up. Unfortunately, we can't just outsource our mindfulness to electronic devices. Sure, in one sense, it's kind of nice to have a gentle reminder to do something that you should do, but it's not a long-term solution. That's kind of like if I had an anger problem and I hired a private secretary to remind me anytime I started getting angry, like, oh, sir, relax, calm down. What happens when my private secretary is not around? I haven't actually developed the internal abilities to be aware of where my posture is in space. But not only that, there's one other major downside of these posture corrector devices. They assume that bolt upright is always the best posture, which just isn't the case. The spine is made to move through flexion, extension, rotation, and everything in between. Of course, we don't wanna be sitting like crap all day long, but instead of wearing one of these crutches, these posture devices, it'd be better if you learned how to stretch, strengthen, and lengthen your muscles and train them how to have good posture without the need to rely on an outside source. One of the disadvantages of these posture correcting devices is that it's basically just a long, slow, passive stretch. They pull your shoulders back and hold that for long periods of time. But that's only one out of three things that makes a difference for your posture. The other two being massage and strengthening. When you combine stretching with massage with strengthening, your results will be two to three times more effective than just one long, slow stretch. Not to mention, it's not just the shoulder muscles that need to open up. 
There's also the thoracic spine on the back side of your body that if it's always slumped like that, it doesn't matter how hard you try to pull these shoulders open, it's not gonna do good things. It's like trying to drive the car with a handbrake on. The bottom line is don't put crutches on your upper body. Learn to cultivate that awareness yourself and use a more systematic approach to improve your posture. If you'll avoid the gadgets and the gimmicks and the gizmos and just do classic stretching, massage, and strengthening, you'll probably find that at the end of a short period of time, maybe 30 days, you start to notice and feel and see very positive improvements in your posture. And you'll save yourself 50 to 100 bucks. I hope that video was helpful. Let me know in the comments what you think about posture correcting devices. Have you tried one? What'd you think? And I'll see you in the next video. Hi, I'm Dr. Dowd. Do you want to correct your posture so women find you more attractive? It's not a good way to, it's not a good way to start the video. Hey, it's Shane from GotRom.com. Yeah, that's the one. Do you want to look thinner, younger, and more attractive? Well, all you need to do is wear this posture correcting device. It'll make you more attractive to the opposite sex and you'll make more money. How's that possible? Shut up, doesn't matter.